What's up everyone? So I'm an hour and some change into this hike. And uh, so far it's not bad. The biggest challenge is just there's no shade. It's just pure sun. And here, let me give you a, a view of what I'm seeing. It's just, uh, it's pretty incredible. I mean, you can tell it's just a, an ancient landscape. And I bet you could just imagine dinosaurs roaming around in these valleys um, so there's a trail behind me and there's the trail ahead it looks like it winds up into the hills a little bit before flattening back out over there um, all in all not a bad day far I think I should get there within the hour to see the dinosaur tracks and now I'm gonna make sure to get a lot of cool pictures See you next time. So, um, I've had some interesting things happen out here. Uh, I mean, there's really no one else out here. It's just me. And um, yeah, I don't know if it's the trick of the wind. I don't put much stock into ghosts or spiritual things like that. But <laughs> about three or four times, I've had to stop and turn because it sounds like, you know, there's like voices. And uh, part of the, the mystique, I guess, or the history of this area is that, you know, this, this history, this area goes back very far um, but there were I believe Spanish explorers um, really lost here and end up dying along the river so you can take that for what it's worth uh, it's just something really interesting and really cool to be experiencing out here and uh, let me give you another view of what I'm seeing I mean just look at that it's uh there's the trail. See, it's not too bad. Uh, it's just really dry. And you can see more hills going upward. All in all, so far, this has been a pretty amazing hunt. So, um, if you ever find yourself in Colorado, I'd highly recommend hiking Picket Wire Canyon. Well, so I made it to the track site and um, it's pretty awesome. Unfortunately, a lot of the tracks have been uh, filled in with mud, but I'm gonna show you one right here. If you can see right where my hand is, you can see, hopefully, but you see the three toes there. I think the Allosaurus, if I'm not mistaken. Then you got another one right there. And then another one right there. And then the tracks just kind of go on over there to the edges of the, the bank right there. Um, apparently, this used to be a lake. So you can imagine they're probably I mean, this place is probably teeming with life. So I can imagine dinosaurs all over the place here. It's got that feel, it feels ancient. So um, at this point, I'm gonna turn back 
5.3 miles back to the trailhead. And um, yeah, I'd say today has been a pretty good day so far. Well, it's uh, Friday, about one o'clock, and I have completed the trail by 10.6 miles. But the hardest part is really yet to come because to get out of the canyon, we've got about a, let's see if we can, about a 600 feet of elevation gain straight up to get out of the canyon. But um, overall, I'd say it was a pretty awesome experience. Um, got to see some dinosaur tracks. Um, it's hot, sun's beating down, so I'm definitely ready to call it a day. Um, so hopefully I've shown you guys enough uh, to get an idea how cool this place really is. Till next time.